Орудия могут смолкнуть, а солдаты уйти. Но для многих мирных жителей война не окончена. Каждый год тысячи людей погибают от наземных мин и не разорвавшихся снарядов. Еще тысячи получают увечья или становятся инвалидами. Хозяйственная жизнь нарушена, земля заброшена, а повседневная рутина может стать опасной для жизни. Служба Организации Объединенных Наций по вопросам противоминной деятельности ЮНМАС была создана в 1997 году, чтобы очистить мир от мин. Clearing fields, clearing areas around schools and, and hospitals. It's about human dignity altogether. This is much more than just clearance of mines. It involves mine risk education to enable people to understand and hopefully avoid the dangers of mines. It includes uh, advocacy to try and persuade nations to comply with the international treaties and to get rid of mines and not to use them. It involves assistance to the victims of mine incidents, helping them to reintegrate into their communities. And it involves the destruction of stockpiles of mines so that they can't be used. Когда заканчиваются войны, то первыми часто прибывают ЮНМАС и взаимодействующие с ней партнеры. When the bomb stops, who goes first? It's the people from ANMAS. In many countries we have worked with them. Uh, first, and they take the first risk, and they pave the way, and they clear the way for all other peacekeepers, and for not only for peacekeepers, but for humanitarian actors and for the populations. I would describe mines and explosive remnants of war as the detritus of, of war. It, it's left over. It's, it's there long after the soldiers have gone, and it is attacking the population. I should also like to add that uh, when we say mines, that is shorthand. Mines includes all explosive remnants of war, including unexploded ordnance and cluster munitions. Очистка местности от мин и взрывчатки позволяет людям возвратиться в свои села, а гуманитарные агентства, такие как ЮНИСЕФ и УВКБ ООН, получают возможность начать свою работу. Такие достижения вносят неоценимый вклад в реализацию целей развития тысячелетия. Mine actions had many successes, uh, particularly in the last 10 years, really since the international community became engaged with mine action. In the Sudan, we have cleared about 30,000 kilometers of roads. That's enabled trade to restart. It's enabled displaced persons to return to their communities. It's enabled people to get where they need to go to vote in elections. And it's enabled aid to be delivered very cheaply. Previously, all the aid was delivered by air. It can now be delivered by road, thereby saving a significant amount of, of money. In 2008 alone, 84,000 anti-personnel mines were cleared in Afghanistan just in 2008 alone, in one year. And of course that has uh, cleared the way for so many children to go to school. In a matter of a couple of years, 70% of uh, territory of Afghanistan will be free of mines. ساحه مین بود و این منطقه که بود یک وحشتناک منطقه بود ما آمده نمی تانستیم و یه همی طور بوره مانده بود Разминирование – трудоемкий и опасный процесс, часто предпринимаемый в трудных условиях. Изготовление мины обходится всего лишь в несколько долларов. На разминирование – тратятся сотни долларов. Спрятанные и замаскированные под местность мины могут взорваться при малейшем прикосновении. We are all aware that the mining is a heroic activity. The people, the, the miners are taking lots of risk, and we have had, of course, several casualties in the past years. 
سمونگ دو وطن خدمت او د خپل ملت والو په خاطر باندې دا قربانی په غاړه غستی دا ان شاء الله مونږ دومره احساس د ویر به نکو ویږي نو مونږ همیشه د پاره دې کې خوشاله یو او دا خوشالي احساس وو ځکه چې مونږ ورونه د دې د زر نه بچېږي او افغانان د دې د زر نه بچېږي Наземные мины часто находят в центре населенных районов. Вот почему для предотвращения трагедий так важно проводить разъяснительную работу. И все же до сих пор каждый день приносят новую жертву. Несмотря на ранения, их жизнь продолжает идти своим чередом. Юнмас обеспечивает помощь жертвам мин. Их мужество – источник вдохновения. Movement came from civil society. The people of the world want their governments to get rid of and assist in getting rid of this scourge. And therefore, if I was appealing to you as a donor, I'd say, you know, this is what your population wants you to do. But the magnitude is enormous, and we do appeal for all who could contribute: uh, governments, private organizations. Uh, even uh, private citizens to contribute uh, to this extremely important activity of the United Nations dedicated to the service of peace and humanity. By, by these demining activities, I must say, UNMAS has contributed to save many, many, many lives. Indeed, the landmine problem can be solved in years rather than in decades, providing that we can generate sufficient funding. Our goal of a mind-free world is now a realistic possibility. Yet, there is more to do, much more.